Hi, and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project, we're going to take a, uh, a sump pump drain, which actually comes over here and dumps out underneath this tree. We're going to take this and we're going to bring it out to the street. Now, the reason we're going to do that is because when it gets the, the, a lot of water in here, this becomes a mud puddle in here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that pipe right there. We're going to trench it into the ground underneath that drain pipe. We're going to come along under here, and we're going to turn and come up underneath this way, and then bring it out, and we'll end it off outside over there on the other side of that bush right there. All right, so enough talking. Let's, uh, let's get in here, let's get our tools, and let's start digging. Okay, so we're going to take it right here, and we're going to bring it down over here, and we're going to follow the grass line right along here just because it's a little bit less invasive into the grass to do something like that. We're gonna bring it down through here and down here. And as you can see, we've already had the utility company come out and mark out the ground so that we know we're not gonna hit any of the electrical wiring in there. And then we're gonna run it down into a safe area on the lawn down there where we'll have a discharge. Again, when you're digging any place in your ground, you wanna have the utility companies come and mark everything out. And as you can see, we know exactly where the, uh, the wiring comes in right now to the house itself. So it won't be any kind of a, an issue. And then we're gonna end off the pipe someplace down over in this area right here. We're gonna have one of those pop-up drains that pop up to discharge the water and then go back down so that it actually it's invisible when it's on the lawn itself. All right, but as you can see, marking out with the utility company, it does show you exactly where it is and we can stay either to the right side of it or to the left side of it. In this case, we're gonna stay to the right side of it. Okay, so we started digging now. We finished, we see the point where we wanna end and we came along here and we dug our trench to accommodate the new pipes that are going to go into the ground. We are using heavy PVC piping, just so you know, and it's going to go down into a more flexible pipe down at the very end. The grass itself, we cut it and we flipped it back on the one side. We did not disconnect it. We just left it attached to the ground itself, so that way the grass, once it's put back in place, it'll grow that much quicker and you'll never be able to tell that anything was ever done. Now in this area here, it really didn't matter too much because as you can see, it was just a, just a dirt area with some, uh, some mulch on top of it. So we just pulled all the mulch away. We dug our trench. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in the back over here and we're gonna dig a trench against the house so we can put the pipes in against the house and they come out underneath that, uh, that fence right there. And then we're gonna make our turn, of course, and run it down through the side. Now this is the, uh, the pipe that we're going to use, which is going to be that pop-up piece that I was telling you about. And it's going to wind up with having adapters so that we have an adapter from the inch and a half pipe over to this bigger four inch pipe right here. But any of the big box stores sell all the adapters that you would need to accommodate it. We do have connectors to join the pipes together, of course. And of course, we're going to be using glue to glue everything together. So now we have our trench wall dug out. This is the other view of the pipe that we're going to be installing. Now that pipe itself, that last uh, probably eight foot section of it, it is corrugated so that way the water is going to seep into the ground and not just come out through that one point. It's going to wind up coming out in the last probably eight or ten feet of the piping itself so that way it dissipates easily into the ground and it doesn't create any kind of mud. Now this is the pop-up on the end of it, as you can see when the water comes out of there and it pushes it up, the water pops out, the water then drains, and then it pops back down when there's no more water coming through. All right, so these are the lengths of pipe we're gonna take. We're gonna put them into the, into the hole. We're gonna make sure we put a level on the pipes to make sure that the pitch is away from the house and down to the street, so that way we don't have any kind of drainage issues whatsoever. But that's what it looks like in anticipation of putting in the pipe. All right, so now in the back over here, we dug our trench where the, uh, where the pipe is gonna go into the ground here. We all gotta, of course, cut that end off on the, that, mid, that, that elbow on the end, we're gonna cut that off. We're gonna bring it down, we're gonna make a turn right here, and then continue down and straight away from the house. But that's what it looks like. Again, we're going to check the angle to make sure that the angle or the pitch 
is away from the house, but as you can see where it comes out of the house, it's up much higher uh, grade than where we're going to put the pipe into it, so it should flow away from the house without any kind of a, any kind of an issue. But make sure you put a level on it to make sure that your pitch is away from the house and it's not going to go wind up going right back down and uh, into your, your sump area. That's what it looks like. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to lay the pipes out that we're going to be putting in. We lay the pipes down so we have a rough idea of where the pipes are going to go. And then we'll get our joint. We join the pipes together. We'll glue them and then put them together. Put them into the hole and then we'll backfill the hole. So that way uh, we can flip the grass back down on top of it and it looks like it was never even touched before. Alright, so we're going to take our glue and we're going to glue everything together now. Alright, after the pipes are now glued together, we're going to pull the dirt back into it to, uh, to cover up the piping and then we'll continue back to the back area, slowly tamping down the soil so that way we can put the, the grass back on top of it, water it, and then in a couple of weeks it'll look like nothing was ever even done there before. All right, so the dirt's down. We next, we'll flip the, uh, the grass over the top of it after we run the rest of the pipes. All right, we'll put them in the hole right here, and then we'll cover them up. As you can see, we have the pipe in place. We actually put a little bit of dirt underneath it so that we have a nice even pitch all the way down without any kind of uh, a low point where the water would just sit. And that's the glue I was telling you about that we use. It seals the pipes together. When you put that glue on, within like two or three minutes, it's dry and you can put the pipes into the ground. All right, so now we're up to this point where we're going to go underneath the fence area itself. You can see that we had our coupling on the end of it already. We have our primer in there and we have our glue ready to go on to put the pipes together. And that's the coupling I was telling you about. All right, we'll backfill all the rest of it down there as well. We're going to put our elbow on the end of it so we can make that turn from the backyard to the side yard. We put the pipe in. We have our glue, which is drying thoroughly. And once that glue is dry, then we can backfill it. We're going to put that elbow on there. It's a 90 degree turn. That actually makes the turn and goes back out to the street itself. Now this is the, uh, the pop-up, what it looks like now. We put the grass back over the top of it, we pushed it down. Of course, it's going to take a lot of watering to make sure that that grass comes back okay. All right, now we're going to put our last piece of piping onto the back over here. And of course, we're going to fill in all the rest of it with the dirt that we previously took out. But as you can see, You'll, you can't even tell that the ground is ever okay, opened up. All right, so after we have that all done there, we go back down into our basement area, and we're going to turn our sump pump back on. We disconnected the battery back up, and we also disconnected from the top where it plugs into the electrical outlet, the regular outlet in the house. We disconnected that as well, so that way during the time when we were working on it, the sump pump didn't turn on and wind up pumping the water into the pit that we just dug out. All right, so now once that's all finished, we'll head outside. And this is what it looks like after we put all the dirt back in place. We flip the grass back down over onto the top of it. Of course, now we just step on the grass to, to seed it back down into the soil that we took out. We're going to grab our hose. We're going to wet everything down really good. And then we're going to continue to wet it down for, uh, I'm going to say, probably a couple of weeks until it actually gets established again. As you can see underneath the fence there, we put our rocks back inside there and you can't even tell that there was anything ever done there before. All right, and as far as in the back of the house, we did the exact same thing. We just took the dirt, we pulled it back, covered up the pipe that was in there. Here my dogs are, they're out there checking it out to see what we actually did out here. They watched by the back, uh, by the back door. I uh, took them out in the backyard on a leash so they wouldn't get out. 
And now you're really curious what we did over there. And here comes the whole, this is the boss of the house. She runs the entire everything. All right, that's it. This job is done and we're on to the next. All right, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.